Not so buggy. I approve. Hey, what's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the King Oger DX Oger Crown Lance. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have the Crown Lance. It's running away. It's running. There it went. <sighs> We have the Oger Crown Lance. We have King Kumagata Oger on this side. We have the Shoe God Souls on this side. That's the first time that's ever happened. On this side, we have King Kuwagata Oger. On the bottom, we have the Lance again. 575 millimeters of awesomeness. I'm sure that's what that says. And on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, things and stuff that I cannot read. Warning! Don't eat anything in this package. That could be very bad for you. And we have... Sad Pac-Man! That's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Oger Crown Lance, and this is what Kuwagata Oger uses to achieve his upgraded form on the show. Um, we'll take a look at the crown in a little bit. First, we'll take a look at the lance itself, as you can see, just done in red and black, but we're getting close. Yes, we can take a look at the details. We got some detailing there in the handle. We have our trigger here, which will activate the noises. You do have some nice details throughout, and the lance just done in red and black. Uh, the tip of the lance is rubbery because safety, although if you whack somebody with this, that's still going to hurt. But hey, safety, they're trying to be mindful of it. But uh, here's the other side. You can see that's a lot of hollow going on there. But again, for safety reasons, but that is pretty much it for the lance itself. But now we will take a look at the main component here, which is the crown. Yes, the crown getting close here you can see lots of nice detail here it's done in that gold ish plastic imagine if this was done in all gold chrome oh my god it would be gorgeous but it's okay you can see lots of nice detail detailing here you got the different colored transclearance stones it looks really cool, really, really cool. You have an activation button right down here. It's going to activate some noises. Uh, you have this little tab right here. This is your on-off switch. Um, your main activation for noises is the red gem. Um, your speaker is right above this gem here. Your battery compartment is right here. The batteries are already included, so you don't have to worry about that. And again, this is that's your on-off switch. But still a very, very nice looking crown here so without further ado let's get down to the noises so we need to turn it on so pull out the tab oh, yeah. crown roll. and it tells you what it is in case you already forgot oger crown lance and to do our transformation just push the red stone And just push this button here. There you go. You've transformed into King Kuagata Oger. And the cool thing about this, I love that they put the, the activation button down here because you could do it the way he does it on the show and put the crown on your head to activate the transformation noise. That's cool. That's just cool. I'm glad they, uh, they thought to do that. But there you go. You've transformed into King Kuagata Oger. So now what we can do is we can combine it with the lance. And one thing you have to be mindful of, there is a specific orientation here. You basically want this button right here to end up over the trigger. So just slide it on, lock it into place. And again, it tells you what it is in case you already forgot. And though you have the full on Oger crown lance. Now, if you want a measurement from end to end, this measures in at about 22 and three quarter inches long. Um, if you want a comparison, here it is with the Oger 
caliber. You can see it's a little bit longer than the Hoja caliber. But now let's get down to some more noises because we got a lot of noises to go through. This does a lot of stuff here. So first we can pull the trigger. We get a little slash noise. Slashy slashy. Doki pokey. Lots of slashy slashies and pokey pokies. Do all kinds of that. And we can go into some attacks. Now to do those, we are going to spin the spin the crown. Now one thing we need to note is this is the starting point and the end point here. So when you spin the crown, you want to make sure you bring this back over the trigger. So we're going to start spinning. And we'll stand by music. Keep spinning until it locks back into place. King Oja, and then pull the trigger. I like, this, I like the way he says Kyumo! Sorry. And there you have the King Oger finish. So there we have one set of attacks, but we can do more. So give the crown another spin. Guardian Weapons. And your guardian weapon finish followed by explosions and more explosions because it's awesome. So there we have that set of attacks, but we can go one more time. Legend Shugod. Actually, we can do one more spin of the crown, so let's do it again. King Caucasus Kanto. And your King Caucasus Kabuto finish. But wait, there's more because we can push the redstone. Or summon for King Caucasus Kabuto. We can push it again.
We have the jingle for Extreme King Ojer, and one more time. And they have the jingle for God King Oja. And there you go. Now, one thing to note when you have the crown plugged in, it is locked in place. You can't just yank it out, otherwise, you will break something. The release button is right here, so just hold it down. And there you go. You can disengage the crown from the lance. So there you have the Oger Crown Lance, and uh, yeah, I really like it. I really dig this. Um, love the overall design, love the way it works, love the functionality. You get a lot of noises out of this thing, so yeah, really cool, really fun. I do quite like it. A very, a very fun upgrade item here for King Oger, so... There you go. Now I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Super Sentai items. I'll put a link to their sites in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the King Oger playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the King Oger, the ex Oger Crown Lance, and this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, bomb in your face.